And uh, so he makes his uh, his way to who are we saying the the priest who's yeah. basically in charge of everything. Rourke. And he uh, he gets his revenge. Yeah. And um, we forgot the uh, the twin sister of Goldie, Wendy. Wendy. Wendy is what helps mm-hmm. him out. Who uh, basically kind of puts him in in touch with everything that he needs. Mm-hmm. In, to uh, to get mm-hmm. to uh, to the end, yeah. It keeps on keeps on calling her. Yeah, yeah. It keeps on calling her Goldie. And then uh, by the end, once once he uh, you know takes out his revenge, he um, he's basically put in prison. Mm-hmm. And Wendy comes to visit him, and and he thinks it's Goldie, and he mm-hmm. says, "Oh, you know, I'm sorry. I just got a lot going on right now." And she says, "No, you can you can uh, basically you can." Role, role play yeah. with me mm-hmm. because you uh, you did what I needed you to mm-hmm. do, you know. Yeah. So when they <clears throat> that right before they execute him, they pan out and then they show her sleeping on top of him, mm-hmm. almost like the Goldie thing. Do you think they had like one last hurrah before they killed him? He doesn't really say, but it's kind of implied. They right? left him in the cell alone. Yeah, and I, I also noticed his leg was chained to the bed too. I don't know if you saw that in the movie, but his leg was chained to the bed. I don't know. But really? Yeah. Like uh, when they when they show in that when, the scene. Uh, yeah, when, when they, they aerial. Pan up, no, no, no. They pan up and she's sleeping on top of him. Um, oh yeah, when yeah, when uh, he, yeah, okay. he's still in prison or whatever. Uh-huh. But do you think you know they just let him do whatever? She just stayed there. That's why she was like, yeah, you can call me Goldie now. I mean, you're gonna die. I guess yeah, it's implied. Right. Something okay. uh, something goes down. I always <laughs> wanted that for him in my heart, man. I swear. <laughs> I, th- I think he just yeah. deserves it. Yeah, him a beer and a steak too. A decent steak. Yeah, a decent one, yeah. That's right. And then they, uh, so they electrocute him. Yeah. By the end of his uh, story. I like how it takes uh, two tries. Yeah. Is that, is that the best you got, you pansies? For <laughs> us. Yeah. R- R.I.P. more. I actually have uh, that shirt, the, the 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 Frank Miller drawing mm-hmm. on a shirt. From the when he's in the when he's in the chair. Yeah, it's a it's nice. a white shirt, and I got it years ago, mm-hmm. probably like 2006, 2007, cool. and it's just him chilling on the electric chair. That's, That's so pretty, it's pretty rad. Um, what's the next story? The uh, the big fat kill. Yeah. Yeah. With uh, Dwight, aka Clive Owen, mm-hmm. the uh, the prostitute, Shelley's new boyfriend. Saver. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Captain Save a Ho. <laughs> hey, burr, 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 burr. shots fired. Um, what happens in this one, dude? A lot. <laughs> yeah, so, this is the biggest story. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it starts off with uh, Brittany Murphy's character, aka Shelley, who is a kind of a hostess mm-hmm. uh, at the, at mm-hmm. Kate, Katie's, the bar that uh, Nancy mm-hmm. dances at. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, you you see uh, Benicio's character, aka Jackie Boy, he rolls up on her apartment mm-hmm. one night with uh, with his boys, and they're they're all drunk, and he's trying to get uh, trying to come in and have some fun, mm-hmm. I guess. Uh, and she doesn't want to let him in, and it's because she has a new boyfriend, she got Dwight, who is Dwight. In there, they just got. Uh... They got done. They got done doing the dirty. Mm-hmm. She's got a shirt on. <laughs> love not. stink all over you. Got love stink all over you. <laughs> and uh, so, um, <laughs> Jackie boy obviously thinks something's up, mm-hmm. and uh, he wants to know what it is. So, uh, you know, after some threats and whatnot, she uh, lets him in. For fear of uh, him getting a little crazy and kicking down the door, is it uh, is it implied that those his entourage are also cops? Are there are they just his boys that are just hooligans? I would think that they're the cops. cops too, they're right? cops too. Yeah, okay, for they're sure. all we'll roll together. Okay, I think they're all off duty, but uh, and that's a big twist that they don't let you know until mm-hmm. towards the end of yeah. the story, but. Um, Spoiler alert! Sorry. <laughs> yeah. They uh, <laughs> so she lets him in. Shelley lets him in, mm-hmm. and uh, he smacks her around. Yeah. While her boyfriend hides in the bathroom. Yeah. In the and shower. Then, and then uh, so Jackie boy's like, 
you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and then we're gonna roll out. So call up your friends, and we're gonna go out on the town. Yep. And while in the bathroom, he meets Dwight. Yeah, he kind of uh, he <laughs> gives him a swirly. Yeah, he's like, you, if you ever uh, come near swirly. Shelly again, <laughs> I'll cut you in ways that'll make you useless to a woman, which is probably my favorite piece uh-huh. of dialogue yeah. in the entire film as well. And the 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 look on Benicio's face is uh is. <laughs> He's pretty scared. Yeah, after he after he comes out of the bathroom, he's being dunked in his own piss. Yeah. And he you know he gets up and he's like, "Let's roll. Let's get out of here. No questions. No questions. Damn it. Yeah. And they're just, just like, what the fuck? And his weird what? accent or him trying not to have an accent yeah. is fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they dip out. It's like they you, little... you enjoy humiliating me like this for no damn reason at all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> capable of doing. <laughs> so then he where he takes off to uh, Old Town, Old Town, okay. which in uh, the Sin City universe is a town ran entirely by prostitutes. They are the law and they run everything. Not Basically. to be confused with Old Town, San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, basically, the women run everything, and yeah. they are empowered as long as they abide by the rules. That, Specific set of rules. Yeah, mm-hmm. they cannot kill any Cops. police officers. Mm-hmm. So was it as long as they as long as they um, it was a truce. But it wasn't it like a, they can't kill cops if they don't um, as long as they don't try to kill them. Yeah, like, like they, do them dirty, or like you if know, they uh, the if some you know squads roll into their town and, and they're not you know picking up what they're putting down, mm-hmm. they have to send them on their way, but they have to send them alive, alive, mm-hmm. and that's the deal. Send them yeah. back in. So, of course, uh, Jackie boy, you know he he's like, oh, let, let's go get some tail in Old Town because uh, Shelly didn't work out, mm-hmm. obviously. So they uh, they end up down there and. Um, Dwight follows. Yeah. To he's like, you know, I got to put a stop to these guys because they're going to hurt another girl. You know, yeah. whatever they had planned, mm-hmm. and uh, so they try to pick up on a uh, uh, streetwalker mm-hmm. who Lady is uh, uh, Alexis Bledel, mm-hmm. the Gilmore girl. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> who's pretty striking in this, honestly. The baby blues. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. And uh, he kind of forcefully, uh, Jackie Boy forcefully says, you know, you need to get in the car Mm -hmm. because you don't have a choice. You're going with me. And she's like, oh, darling, you just done and, you know, made the worst decision of your whole life. And then uh, Miho comes out and fucking straight kills him. Yeah. All. All of them. His friends. (laughs) Everybody but Jackie Boy, she cuts off his hand. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, things get crazy. (laughs) I like that whole scene where he's trying to pick up his hand that has the gun and he's trying to bite off his fingers you know peel him off of the gun I guess that was actually his uh, idea really Benicio's idea he was like that would be so cool if I uh, you know peel the fingers off with my mouth yeah so that's improv that's really cool (laughs) that's one of my favorite scenes of that part He's just like, I can't believe this is happening for no reason. For no reason. (laughs) Yeah. Out of nowhere. (laughs) Oh, my God. This is a career-ending injury. I'm going to pay for it. Do you know my friends? Who says that? And uh, this is the the big twist, turns out, after they uh, they end up. So they they kill Mm -hmm. Jackie Boy. Yep. In Old Town because they think they're within their rights. And when Dwight searches them for money... Finds he, a badge. He, he, yeah, he, uh, he kind of... Poc- he, he starts trying to take all their stuff. He finds the, the badge yeah. for Basin City. And he's like, uh, not only is he a cop, but he's a goddamn hero cop. Yeah. Which... Uh, <laughs> Iron Jack. <laughs> That's what the newspapers called him. Mm-hmm. Which is uh, a no-no. Yeah. And now he's... Uh, He's put um, Old Town in danger because yeah, they broke uh, the treaty. Once the once the cops find out what they've done, all the rules are broken, yeah. and they no longer have uh, their town. Yeah, because the cops are basically protecting Old Town from all the the drugs and the or allowing pimps. them to exact their own brand of mm-hmm. justice, mm-hmm. pretty much drive out the pimps and the gangs and the mob. That's right. Yeah. yeah. 
So and then so he uh, Dwight has to get rid of the body, all the bodies, <laughs> mm-hmm. because uh, if the if anyone else finds out um, outside of this group of females and Dwight, um, they're done for. Yeah. So he's like. You know, fuck it. I'll, I'll take Find care of it. a hard top yeah. with a decent engine. Make sure it's got a big trunk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so they get him his car. He goes to the uh, the, the the pits. Yeah. Oil tar pits. pits. Tar pits. Yeah. Um, and I guess that's the, his little Scooby Doo plan, so that nobody, uh, they, the cops can't find the bodies because who's gonna fucking drain those, right? Yeah. Nobody. Uh, but when he gets there, he's got um, some uh, mercenaries, mercenaries. Uh, already uh, already uh, on his tail, and they um, they know what it, what he did, and they uh, they think that they kill him. Yeah. They kind of snipe him mm-hmm. from up uh, on one of the dinosaurs. And um, and they uh, they're like oh we need we need like a piece of the body to prove that uh, that he is dead mm-hmm. and so they they cut off his head <laughs> yeah and um, what else happens uh, so Rosario Dawson's character basically gets gets uh, kidnapped kind of mm-hmm. held uh, ransom mm-hmm. for the body part um, yeah. and basically to trade the body part of uh, Jackie Jack Boy Jack yeah yeah. Um, so Dwight ends up getting the the head, yep. and uh, he's gonna basically give the head to them in in, in a trade. Like a handoff, yeah, like a handoff basically. And then uh, what's her name from Grimo Girls? Is kind of like something ain't right here. Oh, shit. His mouth is taped. What's wrong? You know. What's and, going on here? Yeah, and then uh, she's like, "This isn't right." Yeah. And then uh, you know they give him the head and they they do the trade off and then she's like. The tape was on his mouth when we killed him. And then um, they're like, oh, shit. And then he pulls out a little detonator, and he's stashed some grenades in his mouth. Yeah. And then taped it shut. It was and a good then, plan. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was a good plan. And, and then, they, they <laughs> had the rest of the hookers on the roofs with the guns. It just yeah. Just everybody. Hell yeah. Perfect. Take out every everybody that was uh, behind the plan. Yeah. yeah. They handled it, though. They still handled it, so... And that was the end of his story, right? Pretty much, yeah. So and they end up we, getting we away. In, we go into uh, Hardigan's story. Do you guys remember what the actual name of the story is? No, I don't. Dang it. Do you remember? No. The That Yellow Bastard? Oh, the of Yellow course. Bastard. No <laughs> it's called the Yellow Bastard, yeah. Sounds All like right. puke. Part one. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, basically, this starts off with a fucking uh, uh, an honest cop. Yep, Hardigan. At the end of his uh, career, career, yeah. he's a few days away from uh, retirement. Mm-hmm. He uh, he basically goes on one of his last cases where uh, a little girl, Nancy, was uh, abdu- abducted, mm-hmm. and he figures out that it's by this uh, kind of notorious um, serial um, child molester. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is worse than a rapist, yeah. I think. Uh, <laughs> I would think so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, basically you find out that the uh, this child molester is the uh, senator's uh, son. Mm-hmm. So he's got some major, major pull. Yeah, it's and, untouchable basically. Mm-hmm. But he goes uh, hard again. The, the, the cop goes after him anyway. Yeah. And he finds out where the where uh, where they're basically holding Nancy, mm-hmm. and uh, his partner, aka uh, Miss Blonde, Michael Madsen, <laughs> Bob, I think he's that's right, Bob, Bob yeah. uh, goes after um, uh, basically backstabs him. Yeah, and uh, he's like, you know, you you can't be doing this. Like, I'm not going to let you. You need to just stop right now. So he was working for. Rourke, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. he was like, paid to stop him. Yeah, he's like, we need to wait for backup, and then the whole, and then that's when Bruce Willis's character is like, yeah, we wait for backup, and then he conveniently escapes yeah. while we're waiting for backup, yeah. and then he gets away and behind his lawyers uh, and his daddy or whatever, and um, because that's why at the end he says, "Christ, that's water under the bridge," mm-hmm. because he knew that he did something wrong, and he had, he was like, "If it's any consolation, you made me hate myself." Mm-hmm. It's because he knew what he was doing. You think he was being truthful, mm-hmm. oh, Mister Blonde? Well, because <laughs> after that he doesn't do anything wrong. Like yeah. towards the end of the yeah. movie, he's he's just it seems like he's kind of reformed. 
But anyway, there's a showdown between um, the uh, child molester played by...